Mr. President, why should the American people re-elect you? Because I'm not... What's his name? Your opponent? Donald Trump? Not Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I'm not Donald Trump. Okay, sir, but what about your platforms? Tell us about your student debt forgiveness program. Look, these are school fighters and fire teachers. Good, honest Americans. People who are gay in public service. I didn't have to, but they said that. I looked into it. I was out there. We have a program. How in God's name can we lead the free world and not have vaccines with every ice cream? I'm sorry, sir. Did you just say ice cream? Where? Now? Okay. No, sir. Um, n never mind. Let's move on. But here's the deal. Think about this. Whether you're a Cheeto or a black kid or even just a regular kid, you have a right. Uh, the health, the doublement, and it's a... It's a, we're, all the people are dreamers. I see, and sir, what about Gaza? Well, we gotta keep bombing the f out of them, Jack. All right, here you go. You don't say a fucking word about Israel. Yeah. You love Israel. Yeah, we love Israel. Whatever Israel wants, Israel gets. Understand? Loud and clear. Good. Oh, hey. You're gonna need this. Okay. Dare I say, Israel is the best $3 billion investment the United States has ever made. Indeed, if the United States did not have an Israel in the Middle East, then the United States would have to invent an Israel. We don't need to be ashamed about this. Excellent. Look, fellas, I think, you know, you heard the defense minister say it, I've said it before, I really think we need to find a path to peace. Very, very critical that we engage in a, uh, a, uh, a peace process a peace process that's right any more questions a thousand dead palestinians israel has the right to defend itself five thousand dead palestinians israel has the right to defend itself ten thousand dead palestinians israel has the right to defend itself 15,000 dead Palestinians. We're thinking of sending 18 billion more to Israel. 20,000 dead Palestinians. And don't forget more F-15 fighter jets. 25,000 dead Palestinians. Well, we did supply the kill list, so... 30,000 dead Palestinians. Okay, we admit it's been a little over the top. So you'll put a stop to it. <laughs> Not a chance. 13,800 dead Palestinian children. Let's not forget that Israel is the victim. Millions of people facing starvation. Israel has the right to defend itself. A literal fucking famine. <laughs> oh God, I know, it's awful. Seven Western humanitarian aid workers delivering food. I am outraged and heartbroken. So you'll stop it. We're sending more weapons to Israel. We have a problem. Yes! Yemen's f up our profits. Sounds like we should nuke Iran! No, we can't nuke Iran, okay? Mr. President, there is no choice but to nuke Iran! You're not listening to me. Bombs away! We cannot nuke Iran. Nuke. What are we gonna do about Lebanon? You know, this scenario reminds me of my favorite video game! Duke Nuke Iran! Israel, you are not listening to me, okay? Mr. President, there is no choice but to nuke Iran! We need to figure out another way. On behalf of the Jewish people, I must say, nuke Iran! We cannot nuke Iran for the last time. Fuck those pussies! No. Do it now! Not gonna do now! It. You yep. can do it. Mr. President, it is with all due respect that I advise you to nuke Iran! Benny boy, I need this or I'm gonna lose the election! Let's just take a moment here. Let's take a breath, okay? Let's, let's go back to the basics, just like we practiced. Yes! What's our mantra? Oh! Can we get back to it, please? Just like we drew it up. U.S. support for Israel is unwavering, like a rock. If we don't see changes to Israel's policies, we're going to make a change as well. Okay, so it's not unwavering like you said. 
Oh no, it is. It is unwavering. It never wavers. We're just wagering a guess that if we don't see some changes from Israel, we're also going to have to make some changes as well. It sounds like you're trying really hard not to say that U.S. support for Israel is wavering. I'm not wavering, you're wavering! <laughs> Look, okay, both things can be true. Yes, our support for Israel is rock solid and ironclad and never wavers, and yet it is also malleable, like a little spongy porous goo that could just dry up altogether at a moment's notice. See? You did it again! No! <laughs> okay. I think we can all agree that we don't want to see innocent civilians starve and die, right? Uh, you supplied the weapons, the targets, the intelligence, the kill lists. Don't forget, we also sent food to Gaza. And why did you do that? Is that a serious question? Yes! Because no one should be bombed on an empty stomach. Next question. Ten ordered Cambodian genocide Clinton. Sent cruise missiles to Sudan, people died Obama. And gave the orders to do drone strikes Reagan. Invaded Nicaragua in 85